people deluded i'm back again good evening and i hope you're all doing well and safe and all of these things hope the same can be said for your loved ones whoever you are wherever you are good morning good evening good afternoon according to whatever time zone you're watching this and at the time of watching this but moving forward there's a couple things i've seen on the net we might as well speak about them first and foremost apparently you know project restart every day there's a new target date but apparently we finally got it here football specifically premier league football behind closed doors of course will be returning i believe on wednesday the 17th of june now there's a couple of other games being played but i'm pretty sure that day they said man city will kick off against arsenal which when the game comes there'll be other talking points because you've heard that the Athletic have said Premier League teams are trying to, pardon me, set up um, friendlies between each other. Um, we we don't know how they're gonna how teams are gonna look fitness wise. I guarantee there's gonna be an imbalance. Teams certain teams are gonna look fitter than others. Certain other teams are gonna look fitter than um certain teams are not gonna look as fit fit as others. And there'll be plenty of debate, especially if relegation is still a thing and you know cup places are still a thing and everything everything beyond. Liverpool winning the Premier League, you know, is up for debate. So there'll be a lot of debate. Obviously, the games will be coming quick and fast. Quick and fast. And apparently, what I've seen is there'll technically be only a 21-day break between this season ending and next season starting, which the Premier League have made a commitment to such happening people. Um, for for what it's worth, the Telegraph are reporting. Uh, Man City will play Arsenal on the 17th of June, which is a Wednesday. Exclusive Premier League will restart on June 17th with Aston Villa at home to Sheffield United and Man City hosting Arsenal. The scheduling of matches for Project Restart is, is key with the Premier League hoping to complete the season by the weekend of, the, of August the 1st and 2nd. It means the FA Cup final is set to take place the following Sunday. Um, so yeah, we need to get things finished. Obviously, again, assuming a Premier League team gets to the Champions League, what is happening with the Champions League sort of thing, people? But, you know, I'm sure we will welcome football back. It'd be nice to see it come back. And I think La Liga are making movements for their team to get started back up as well. Moving away from that, and I'm all sure you've seen Sir Chips Keswick has um, announced his retirement, bringing the curtain down to 15 years at the club. Obviously, he's had the quite the quite the life. People, he's been a banker. He's a donator to the Tory party. Um, you know, like I said, he's been a banker. He's been on the Arsenal board. You know, he's got different um, business interests. Um, you know, he's done a lot in his 80 years, to put it nicely. So yeah, man, have a good retirement and things like that. I'm sure we all will look at the Arsenal board, members that are currently there that have been there or members that have moved on with a degree of sourness because of, you know, when you look away from the fact that we're Arsenal and, you know, the history ties, we have been underperforming and damn right failing in several things to which obviously he's been there and been part of this indirectly. We'll never know truly what he did or didn't do, but yeah, he's, he's done what is needed to be done. So it's, it's, it's it, you know, I wish him all the best in what he's doing. But in an official statement... Stan and Josh Kroenke said, We would like to express our immense gratitude for everything Sir Chips has done for Arsenal Football Club as a board member and chairman of the board over the past 15 years. His extensive business knowledge and experience coupled with his deep love for Arsenal have made him the perfect chairman. It's been a privilege to work with him and will always be a very welcome visitor when we return to playing matches at the Emirates Stadium. Apparently he was going to retire at the end of the season with what's happening with Covid has brought that further. In relation to replacing him, I don't know if they'll deem a replacement's needed. I don't know if someone will move into that role. I don't know if they'll bring someone external in. So we'll have to see what happens in that. Um, his own words were, I made my plan to retire at the end of the season, clear to the board before the global health crisis. We're now experiencing... The club is in safe hands with Stan and Josh, the board and the executive team. I know Arsenal will emerge strongly from this situation and I look forward, like all our supporters around the world, to seeing the team in action as soon as possible. The club is in safe hands with Stan and Josh. Mm. Must take me for forward, back side. But moving forward, I mean, you know, if that's what he believes, obviously a bit of that is PR. It is, it is, what, it is what it is, people. The crucial part, or if there is a crucial part, um, shout out to like I said, man. I, he's he's also educated in Ian, so he's seen a different sort of reality that some of us wouldn't, man. So he's had quite the eighty years in his life and quite the fifteen years at Arsenal. Moving forward, the board will be composed of Stan Cronkay, Josh Cronkay, Lord Harris, and Ken Fear. Stan and Josh added, "Our primary concern at this difficult time is the health and well-being of our staff and players." It's also our intention to ensure Arsenal Football Club emerges from this crisis in a strong position. 
that's what we're working on every day which is a hundred percent facts and you know health is wealth so yeah that's what it is people i mean yeah man it's nice to see the premier league will we get get back going as soon as possible and you know happy retirement to sir chips on that note though that brings an end to this vid people it's always a pleasure dg i'm out